Hey guys, what's going on? So the Astros made some apologies today and we just gotta talk about it because I think everyone is still super upset and super angry by this whole situation and I always think, you know, if us as fans are upset by their cheating, I can't imagine how the other players feel, especially those on the Dodgers and Yankees and just players that were affected by this and so many were. So we had Jose Altuve and Alex Bregman make statements. Bregman's, I would say, is a little better because he actually said sorry. Altuve, he didn't even say sorry in his apology. And I tweeted this out. I was like, I was taught when you apologize, you say the word sorry. They almost, you know, mean the same thing. He's like, oh, like, he said the word, like, oh, we have remorse or whatever. And we feel bad. It's like, okay, it's too late to feel bad. You know what? You should have felt bad when you were doing it and stopped then. Bregman's, it was kind of... It, it was a little bit better, it was a little, you know, robotic. It, the paper flying off the podium just made it worse because of the wind. I guess he had some notes written down, which I guess is fine. I don't know, it means it's not coming from the heart, but I don't know, maybe he's not a great public speaker. I really shouldn't even be giving them that, this much, uh, you know, benefit of the doubt. And then the, the paper, you know, whatever, the speech paper, he had notes written down there. I don't know, whatever was on that paper flying off just made the situation look 10 times worse. I honestly thought these guys were going to be so coached up by the PR there because they hadn't really talked except for, you know, that one time when they're like, oh, the commissioner made his decision, whatever. So I thought they were going to be really coached up coming into spring training by the PR staff and whatever. Looks like they weren't. And then the best is, the best is we have the Astros owner, Jim Crane, saying our opinion is that this didn't impact the game. Then why were they doing it? Were they doing it just for fun? They were maybe there were some aspiring drummers on the team. They just wanted to bang on the drum, get 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 a, a beat down, you know, practice like learning a beat. I don't know. I, I used to play the drums, by, by the way. Like having a beat is sometimes hard, low key. Okay, that's like that's literally like just a, a sidebar there. But then why were they doing it? There was no reason to do it if it didn't make an impact on the game. And then the best is a few seconds later he goes, I didn't say it didn't impact the game. I didn't say it didn't impact the game when a reporter asked about it. He said, I didn't say it didn't impact the game. You know, when he first made the statement that it didn't impact the game, I was like, is this man okay? But then when he said that, I realized, you know, this man is not okay. I mean, they just rose to the top of the power rankings for the most circus-like, the most clown-filled organization in any sport in the world. Just number one, clear-cut number one after today. Mets fans. Your team, your organization looks like amazing after this. You guys look like a world-class organization compared to the Astros right now. It's just really disappointing and it's mind-boggling how these players weren't suspended and, you know, had immunity. That's it for this video, guys. Make sure you drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Peace out.